Hi guys, this is Garth Holman from teachersfortomorrow.net and this is part of the Engaging Students in a Remote Classroom series and today we're going to focus on Google Docs. Um, Google Docs is very much like um, Microsoft um, Word so if you're used to other word processors you're going to see a lot of similarities with this. So this is the bread and butter of the Google Suite you know where you can type information, directions, projects, that kind of stuff. Um, it's, the nice thing about this is it's easily shareable to other people, so we'll kind of walk through that. We're going to show you in the tutorials um, how to set up tables like you see here on the left, which are pretty organized and help people find what you want. Um, we're going to add images and links all through it to make it more of an interactive uh, worksheet, I guess you'll call it. And then we're going to talk about how we can add comments to the work so students can leave comments on there or you can leave comments to student work. So the first thing we have to do is figure out, um, you know, a brief overview of what Drive is. We're going to talk a little bit about Drive. Um, the, how we're going to encourage you to do this is always go to your email. In your email, you have at the top right, um, next to your name, you have this, what we're going to call the waffle. The waffle is a link to all of your Google apps. Many of your Google apps show up here. There's a lot and there's even more you can go to. Um, maybe on the tutorial about Classroom, you don't see Classroom in here. Maybe on your tutorial about YouTube, you don't see the YouTube icon. Um, if it's not here, you can always Google search it. So you can Google search Google Classroom and it'll take you to your Google Classroom if it's not here. Um, we could add it, but for now, we're just gonna assume they're here. You'll notice you can do docs from right here, sheets or slides, or go to a meet or start a Google website. I'm going to recommend you get used to going to your Drive to do all of this work. Um, part of the reason you want to go to Drive is that helps you kind of organize what you're doing. And everything runs off this plus button in the upper left hand corner. So if you click that, you can do docs, you can do sheets, you can do slides, you can do forms, you can do all kinds of things directly from inside your drive. Your drive is your filing cabinet. It keeps everything organized for you. You can make folders. Um, you know, you can organize your work so you can find things easy. So once you're in your drive, um, we want to uh, talk about like a Google Doc or how do we build it. So I'm just going to do a test one um, and in the next tutorial I'm going to have built some things on it with just word processing but we're going to kind of go over the toolbars so you can see a little bit about what's in the drive. As soon as your doc's opened, um, one thing people tend to forget is naming it. So in your upper left hand corner you have an untitled document. If you click in there and I'm just going to call it test remote learning and then that's enough. So once you get in, it is a normal word processor you type, you know, inside your document. So you can type. I must have caps locks on, but you get it. All right, so I'm going to kind of walk through some of these things. You've got undo and redo, print. This is spelling and grammar check. That's paint format. That's the size. You know, so I want it to be a little bigger for you to see. You've got your headings or titles, your fonts you can use, your size of your fonts, your normal bold, italicize, underline. This is the color. This lets you highlight. This is a link. We'll talk about this in another tutorial quite a bit. This is your comment function. You'll see that in other places as well. Inserting images. Your normal things, right, left margin, uh, justified in the middle. Spacing, that's like your formatting issues. Bulleted points or number ones, there's other options in here. There's also, excuse me, I guess here's bulleted points or check boxes. Um, and strike through. Now, I'm not going to use most of these in our little tutorial. We're just going to kind of learn a little bit about it. So, <clears throat> These are kind of those basic ideas. Under file, you have a lot, right? You can make a copy. That's gonna be important for kids to know how to make a copy. You can download this in different formats. All right, you can send it as an email. You can look through your version history. That way, if you make an error, you can go back to the original, like something you built two days ago. Um, you can publish it to the web. 
we, we will talk about that in Sly or in Google Slides, how to publish to the web. I won't do it with this one. Um, and you've got some other things if you need to print, so on. Across the board, you've got edit, undo, copy, paste. You can find and replace. You've got your layouts. Your inserts will use a lot. Um, images, tables, drawing, a variety of pieces, formatting. Other tools, we'll look at Explore. I'll use Explore at least in one of the tutorials to show you what that does. Add-ons are something you probably won't have um, unless you're familiar with Docs. So that's kind of an overview of Docs and what you begin to see when you start with Docs. Um, the next tutorial kind of go in deeper. We'll start building with Docs.